na mtazamaji karibu hizi ni taarifa za darubini wikendi mie ni Teka Mchemenza anayenisaidia kwa lugha ya ishara ni An Wangeshi kumbuka unaweza kuandamana nasi mkuanzia mwanzo hadi tamati wa taarifa hizi kupitia kwa mitandao yetu ya kijamii kisha uache jumbe mbili tatu ambapo nitakuwa ni mwenye kuzisoma kadri tunavyoendelea na taarifa hizi karibu twende nalo hadi tamati Mwili wa aliyekuwa mwanasheria mkuu Charles Njonjo umechomwa katika tanuri ya Karioko jijini Nairobi muda mfupi baada ya familia yake kudhibitisha kifo chake mapema leo. Njonjo aliaga dunia leo asubuhi akiwa na umri wa miaka mia moja na moja. Sir Charles jinsi alivyofahamika ametajwa kuwa mtetezi mkakamavu wa yale aliyoamini. Alifariki kutokana na homa ya mapafu nyumbani kwake Mudhaiga. Mwanahabari wetu Nancy Okware anatukunjulia taarifa za darubini wikendi. Jumapili asubuhi katika tanuri ya Kariakoo jijini Nairobi. Familia ya marehemu Charles Njonjo iliwasili hapa kushuhudia kuchomwa kwa mwili wake kuambatana na usia wake. Njonjo alifariki saa kumi na moja leo alfajiri nyumbani kwake katika mtaa wa Muthaiga akiwa na umri wa miaka mia moja na moja baada ya kuugua homa ya mapafu. Mr. Njonjo had been unwell for quite a while. Um, over the course of last year and this year um, he'd been battling you know one ailment or another um, very very well uh, despite his age um, but um, as of this morning at around 5:15 a.m. Um, he breathed his last um, and it was actually as a result of um, a little bout of pneumonia uh, which he had suffered and therefore had compromised had compromised his lungs kwa mujibu wa familia yake njonjo alitoa usia kwamba alitaka mwili wake uchomwe punde tu baada ya kufariki so he was a man who was very clear about instructions and a man who was very clear about what he wanted uh, not just in life but what he wanted in death as well and part of those instructions were that we must perform a cremation um, immediately almost immediately after his passing he didn't want any fanfare he didn't want a lot of ceremony um, he didn't uh, he didn't he didn't want um, a lot of what goes with um, funerals um, and and passing of 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 people of his stature kifo chake kimetajwa kuwa pigo kubwa sio tu kwa familia yake bali kwa taifa na bara Afrika kwa jumla wandani wake wamemtaja kuwa mtumishi wa umma aliyejitolea na mwana familia aliyezingatia uadilifu kikamilifu njonjo alifahamika kwa mtindo wake wa kipekee wa mavazi na akatui kwa jina Duke of Cambridgeshire kutokana na tabia zake za kizungu baada ya kusomea Uingereza amewaacha watoto watatu Huku safari yake ya Charles Njonjo ya zaidi ya miaka mia moja ikikamilika wa Kenya na Afrika kwa ujumla watamkumbuka katika jukumu lake katika ujenzi wa taifa hasa katika masala ya kikatiba. Nancy Okware nikiripoti ya Darubini kutoka katika eneo la Kariakoo Nairobi.